Good morning, everyone. May God's grace and peace be with each of you. Advice to young people. Reverence is greatly needed in the youth of this age. I am alarmed as I see children and youth of religious parents so heedless of the order and propriety that should be observed in the house of God. While God's servants are presenting the words of life to the people, some will be reading, others whispering and laughing. Their eyes are sinning by diverting the attention of those around them. This habit, if allowed to remain unchecked, will grow and influence others. Children and youth should never feel that it is something to be proud of, to be indifferent and careless in meetings where God is worshipped. God sees every irreverent thought or action, and it is registered in the books of heaven. He says, I know thy works. Nothing is hid from his all-searching eye. If you have formed in any degree the habit of inattention and indifference in the house of God, Exercise the powers you have to correct it and show that you have self-respect. Practice reverence until it becomes a part of yourself. Do not have so little reverence for the house and worship of God as to communicate with one another during the sermon. If those who commit this fault could see the angels of God looking upon them and marking their doings, they would be filled with shame and abhorrence of themselves. God wants attentive hearers. It was while men slept that the enemy sowed tears. Nothing that is sacred, nothing that pertains to the worship of God should be treated with carelessness and indifference. When the word of life is spoken, you should remember that you are listening to the voice of God through his delegated servant. Do not lose these words through inattention. If heeded, they may keep your feet from straying into wrong paths. May God bless you today.